He has performed all over Orange County, and most recently he was at the Ice House in Pasadena. Let's give it up for Steve Getman! Give it up for Jennifer. Doing a great job. Well, it's great to be in South Orange County. Woo, hot diggity. Yeah. Turns out I have a lot in common with all the previous comics. I like math. I'm, uh, uh, I go to church, and I'm a double dipper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you like my shirt? Yeah. yeah, thank you. Got a goodwill for $5. Yeah, yeah, you can be fashionable and save money at the same time. Um, I'm 65 years old. I live in Irvine. So that means that on the way down here tonight, I had to stop five times to go to the bathroom. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's a pain being old. I saw a commercial for Cialis. They said that not only can you take Cialis for ED, but it's good for frequent urination. So I said, well, I'll try anything. So I took it. Now I have another problem. Whenever I use a urinal, I have to stand way back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Got shingles recently. Uh, I know, it's terrible. I just couldn't afford the aluminum siding. So, yeah. I'm concerned about the environment. Are you guys you look like a bunch of tree huggers out there? the environment, but not overly concerned. At least I wasn't until I found out about that big island of trash and plastic floating around in the Pacific Ocean. You've heard about that? Yeah, it's terrible. For me, that was the last straw. <laughs> a groan's as good as a laugh. Come on, come on. Let it out, let it out. So, so I'm curious, how many people, show of hand or applause, got some sort of marijuana-related gift for Christmas. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. I mean, in my day, we gave bongs for Christmas gifts. We just didn't put them under the tree. So, and the experts say it's really important to talk to your kids about drugs because it's, they're so prevalent. And I couldn't agree more, because the other day I was talking to my 25-year-old son. I said, Jeffrey, the next time you go to that pot store, would you get me an ounce of that Laguna Gold? Because my dealer from college is in assisted living now, and I think he broke a hip. And my son, he said, Dad, let's, let's smoke a bowl together. I said, okay, so out of habit, I stuffed towels under the door. Okay, now I know who you are. Okay. Yeah, that gave it away. So... Uh, TSA, you know, there's, there's worried about drugs at the airports, and so now they're putting dogs at the airports. You heard about this? It's, uh, it's really something. I ran into this at uh, Phoenix Airport. Uh, it was the first time I had a TSA agent sniff my butt. <laughs> yeah, I'm very uncomfortable. Um, and here's a tip for you. If you're going to do the marijuana, don't do it and then pay your bills. Okay, I tried this once, I was behind in my mortgage, but my electric bill is paid for the next two years. So, just a tip. So, um, it seems kind of hot here, do you mind if I take off my shirt? Okay, thank you. Or maybe. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Goodwill, four dollars. See, you can be fashionable at Goodwill. That's right. I'm pretty good with technology, as you can imagine. Um, for instance, I learned a way that I can extend the battery life on my cell phone. I bought a watch. So, yeah. And, um, but I can't do everything with a cell phone. I'll give you an example. I was in a restroom the other day, and I was standing at a urinal, way back, of course. And the guy next to me is doing this. And I looked at him, I said, man, I could never do that. And he said, what, text and pee at the same time? And I said, no, hold myself with just one hand. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so a little history. Um, I had a tough childhood growing up. Um, 
our family never went on family vacations. Uh, my sisters and I would sit around that whole week while my dad and my mom sat on the couch and my dad would say, so what do you want to do? And my mom would say, I don't know, what do you want to do? So that was terrible. I had trouble dating girls because I didn't, didn't understand what they were saying to me. I mean, this one girl asked me if I wanted to go all the way. And I'm like, well, how far are we talking? San Diego? Because I got a big math test with Mr. Sultan tomorrow. <laughs> so then she explained what she really meant. And I'm like, hot diggity. <laughs> she says, well, do you have any protection? I'm like, well, I got this. <laughs> So now my pocket protector smells kind of funny. <laughs> so, um, and then I found out girls like guys that have tattoos. So I got a tattoo on my back. It's the entire periodic table. <laughs> that really hurt. I stretched the other day. I created three new elements. <laughs> Um, then I found out girls like guys that were tough and strong, so I joined the gym. First thing my trainer said to me was, well, how flexible are you? I said, Henry, I cannot do Tuesdays. <laughs> I cannot do Tuesdays. So I finally met a girl and she said, come on over, let's go out. And I said, great. So I get to her apartment and she invites me inside. We spent the whole night there. Hot diggity! But we weren't doing what you might think we were doing. We spent the whole night sitting on our couch. And I said, so what do you want to do? She said, I don't know, what do you want to do? So we've been married 32 years. <laughs> That's right. And it was great at the beginning, man. We were, the sex was great. We were doing it like once a month. Oh my God, it's fabulous. But after 32 years, you know, not so good. So uh, finally she made the proposal, she said, if you do all the chores around the house, you can have anything you want in the bedroom. And I'm like, hot diggity! So, so far I got a big screen TV and a refrigerator full of beer. It's working for me. So, we, uh, we went out to Casino Morongo to celebrate our anniversary. Anybody been out there? Yeah, a few people? Yeah, it's a great place. They have a super steakhouse on the top, a really good steakhouse. So we were there just for the afternoon, play some slots, have a drink. But I was a little disappointed because uh, they wouldn't let us rent a room for an hour. So yeah, so we could you know take a nap. Because <laughs> that's what we do at 65. <clears throat> so uh, like a lot of couples, we tried to have kids. And for some reason, she just wasn't getting pregnant. And uh, so we went to the fertility clinic and the doctor says, well, you should try it more than once a month. That might help. <laughs> we tried that, and that didn't work. So we went back, and he took my sperm and put, put it under a microscope with her egg, and he looked at it, and he says, I think I see your problem. And I looked at it, and I, it was amazing. I actually saw my sperm say to her egg, so, what do you want to do? <laughs> So before I go, I just want to share one more thing with you. Being a nerd is tough. And I, I knew I had a self-esteem problem, so uh, uh, a number of years ago I joined NA, Nerds Anonymous, <laughs> which is kind of redundant because nerds are anonymous. We did everything by email. But I learned I should be proud of who I am, and I could be hip too, and I'm gonna prove it for you right now with my rapping nerd. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, my name's Steve, and I'm a rapping nerd, and I can spell any word in the English language and Spanish too. And I know every definition too. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Now I know everything, believe it or not, from math to science to the meaning of pot. But you won't catch me taking pot or pills. For me, taking aspirin gives me thrills. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Now girls and I were just a waste. It might have been my strange sexual taste. When I asked a girl to come to my crib, I meant the real thing, including diapers and bib. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So the next time you see a guy like me wearing funny glasses, singing harmony, you can be sure of at least one thing. He's the rapping nerd. Uh-huh, my name is Steve Gettner, and thank you very much for being here.